Hi, I'm Zach with Speedway Motors, and uh, I'm the lead engine builder at uh, Speedway Racing Engines. And I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about uh, what you need to know before you select a camshaft, and uh, more specifically for your for the street guys and uh, the muscle car stuff. And uh, <clears throat> you know, when you call into us or or anybody you're trying to buy a camshaft from. Uh, just if you have a good idea of what you're trying to accomplish with the camshaft and the motor, uh, we can really get you narrowed down to, to what you need. You know, first things are what is the engine? You know, is it is it a 350 Chevy? Is it uh, is it a is it a stroker motor? Um, you know, is it smaller? Is it 305 inches or uh, or is it a 632 inch big block? You know, th those things really have a drastic effect on on what we're going to get you, um, and, and maybe you have a, a power adder on the car, a turbo, a blower, nitrous, or maybe you have hopes and dreams of, of adding that in the future, and uh, you know those things will also help us get you narrowed down on on camshaft. And uh, another big thing is is what type of camshaft. A hydraulic flat tap at cam is going to be your cheapest option. Um, and then we have solid flat tappets, which are going to require more maintenance. Um, both of those camshafts are going to require you to have a, a more zinc-based oil um, in the motor. Otherwise, with, with today's oils and high detergents, you're, you're going to have problems with the cams going flat. Um, if, if you go to a hydraulic roller, camshaft is by far the most maintenance-free camshaft, but, but you're adding a, a substantial amount of, of money to the thing uh, to, to get away from having to maintain them, which a lot of people are going that way these days, and, and I highly recommend them for a street car. Um, you also have solid roller camshafts, but again, they're going to require more, more maintenance. You have to just run the valves and, and stuff like that, and, uh, but they also will provide you with the most horsepower, most radical type of camshaft. Also, we're going to need to know what your what your hopes and, and, and realizations are of, of this car. I mean, are you going to drive it down the street, go through the drive through uh, spin the tires on occasion when the feeling's right, or is it uh, something you really want to take to the drag strip more often than not and maybe cruise it down the street, uh, get everybody to look at you every once in a while? Yeah, you know, just, just be honest with yourself if uh, you're trying to build a a nine second drag car if you're, you're really trying to build something that's fun to drive on the street. And uh, you know, so then we get into induction, you know, what kind of heads, what kind of intake manifold, how big is the carburetor, um, do you have headers, stock manifolds, uh, and stuff like that. Um, and and if, if it's a whole engine build, we can, we can help you with, with the right combination with that all, also. Uh, we get into things like how much does the car weigh? Does it have an automatic transmission? If it does have an automatic transmission, uh, do you have a stall converter? <clears throat> uh, and uh, you know, if you, have, if you have a stall converter, we can go a little bit bigger with camshaft. If it's four speed, we can go even a little bigger yet. Uh, bigger doesn't always mean better. Most people will over cam their motors and, and, and in, in the long run, they're, they're just not happy with how the car performs. For one, it doesn't make the power they want. For two, it's just a real bear to drive and, and, and it's not fun. So as you can see, there's a lot to know about picking the right camshaft for what you're really trying to achieve. And if you call us here at Speedway Motors with some of the general information we talked about in this video, I believe we can really help you out and get you zeroed in on the right camshaft. So thanks for tuning in and get, we'll be looking forward to your call. Thank you.